So you may have recently seen this report by Joanna Stern of the Wall Street Journal highlighting the issue of how thieves are working in groups, watch you enter your passcode on your phone and then snatch the phone from you, allowing them full access to not only your phone, but also your Apple account and potentially everything associated with it. It is a very serious business. And as it turns out, many people are disabling Face ID, believing that passcodes are a safer option. I don't agree with this opinion, but regardless of whether you agree or not, making your passcode longer, and therefore more secure, is a very good idea. Not only will it make it a lot harder for someone to snoop on entering your code, but it also makes it more difficult for a hacker trying to guess or brute force your code. You can, in theory, make your passcode as long as you like, and you can use a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols, just like a normal password. However, this can become quite cumbersome if you frequently use a passcode to unlock your phone. So instead, my preference is to use a lot of digits because I find using the numeric keypad a lot easier than typing on the full keypad. To create a long passcode for your iPhone or iPad, start by opening the Settings app. Scroll down and tap on Face ID and Passcode. You'll be asked to enter your current passcode and then a little way down, you have the option to change passcode. Start by entering your current passcode again, then you'll see the password options and choose between custom numeric code or alpha numeric code. You can quite easily increase your passcode to eight digits by using your date of birth. So two digits for the day and the month and four digits for the year. Or even better, you can combine your date of birth with the current year, giving you a total of 12 digits. However, using your own date of birth is probably not ideal. So maybe choose the date of birth of someone close to you instead. You'll need to enter the passcode twice to confirm and then wait for the phone to verify your new passcode. When you next unlock your phone, you'll be prompted with the number keypad to enter your new extra long numeric passcode. Of course, to be even more secure, you can switch to using an alpha numeric passcode, combining numbers, letters, and symbols. However, this will of course require you to use the full keyboard to unlock your phone. And unfortunately, one hand swipe texting isn't available in this instance. Finally, before you go, one thing worth mentioning is that Apple responded to the Wall Street Journal article by saying that security researchers agree that iPhone is the most secure mobile device and that they work tirelessly every day to protect all of their users from new and emerging threats. So that is how to create a longer, more secure passcode for your iPhone and iPad. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in an easy way to share Wi-Fi passwords using your iPhone and a way to add reminders so you never forget an important birthday. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.